All aboard Coin Collectors as this week we're going up Camborne Hill as we look at the £2 coin to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the first steam locomotive by Richard Trevithick. And before we get lots of people saying that steam locomotives were made by other people first, chill, it's okay. Also it'd be nice to have lots of people watching but we'll get there. We know other people built them first but this is the coin just to celebrate Richard Trevithick's first steam locomotive. So before we get on to the coin itself let's have a quick uh, look at what it'd be worth as a collector's item. Well as normal condition is key. This one is a little bit worn so that would affect the price but looking at online at the last five of these coins sold with this design they went for an average of £2.46, which is about right, as there were 5,004,500 of these minted. Which is not low, but you still don't see many of these in circulation, as you do with other coins. But if you want to add one of these to your collection, my advice, a bit of perseverance, keep an eye out, I'm sure you'll get one soon. So, I'm just going to pick the coin up, move this one back for a second and turn it over. And of course we have the fourth portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. As usual I'll post the link below to the video where I cover off the portraits of Queen Elizabeth. Now turning it on to the side you can see we have this pattern here. And the pattern is of a incused railway line motif. Now while I know what all those words mean individually I've not actually been able to find out why it looks like this. Um, my only educated guess could be the lines at the bottom here are meant to represent the railway sleepers and then the pattern at the top represents um, the motion the sidebar makes when it's turning going around on the wheels but uh, if I'm wrong let me know in the comment section below and actually what it is so I'm going to turn it back over now and as you can see here we've got the engine itself now the design is very similar to one of Richard Trevithick's in the uh, National Science Museum but as you can see on the front it's different here and it's shorter and that's because um, his machine that did the first um, transport was not originally built as a steam locomotive for transport but actually as a hammer for a uh, ironworks but the owner of the ironworks a Samuel Humphrey was so impressed with the power and design of the machine he made a bet for 500 guineas currency not pigs obviously with another iron master Richard Corshay that it could be used to carry 10 tons of iron 9.75 miles or 16 kilometers from Penny Darren to Abercayon Apologies to the Welsh there for my pronunciation. And after some modifications on the 21st of February 1804, at an average speed of 2.4 miles per hour, he won that bet when an, the unnamed engine carried not only 10 tons of iron, but also five wagons and 70 men in just over four hours. So what made it more incredible was I believe this was the first time a high pressure steam engine had actually been used to carry so much which is why we have the tribute here today and on the outer rim along with uh, our Trevific and the years 1804 and 2004 we have the words at the bottom invention industry and progress one other point as well you just notice on the outer rim of the uh, inside of the coin we've got all these little nodges and they're actually just to represent a cog in again another tribute to the uh, original engine itself but that brings us to the end of another all change review what are your thoughts on this coin and its design do you have it yourself in your collection and are there any other coins you'd like me to review let me know in the comments below and please like and subscribe but until next time Thanks for watching and keep collecting. Bye.